In this video, we'll see how the functions hstack, vstack, and stack are a lot like the concatenate function with some subtle differences that can come in handy. Let's start by building some helper arrays. We'll make a 2 by array called foo, another 2 by array called bar, a 1 by 2 array called baz, a 1 by 3 array called bingo, and a 2 by 2 array called bongo. Now let's take a look at vstack. So vstack takes one argument, a sequence of arrays, and you could describe its algorithm and pseudocode as the following. For each array in the sequence, if the array is 1D, then promote the array to 2D by giving it a new front axis. If every array in the sequence has the same shape, then concatenate the arrays along axis 0, otherwise throw an error. Visually, you could imagine vStack as vertically stacking 1D or 2D arrays. So if we vStack foo and bar, we'll get back a 2x2 array like this. And if we vStack foo, bar, and baz, we'll get back a 3x2 array like this. And if we vStack baz and bingo, we'll get an error because their shapes don't align for vStack. Let's take a look at hStack. HStack also takes one argument, a sequence of arrays, and you could describe its algorithm and pseudocode as the following. If every array in the sequence is 1D, then concatenate the arrays along axis 0. Else, if every array has the same shape excluding axis 1, then concatenate the arrays along axis 1. Otherwise, throw an error. Visually, you could imagine HStack as horizontally stacking 1D or 2D arrays, so if we hstack foo and bar, we'll get back a 4 by array like this. If we hstack baz and bingo, we'll get back a 5 by array like this. If we hstack foo and bingo, we'll get back an error because their shapes don't align for hstack. And if we hstack bingo and bongo, we'll get another error because their shapes also don't align for hstack. Lastly, stack takes two primary arguments, a sequence of arrays to combine, and axis, which tells stack to create a new axis along which to combine the arrays. In pseudocode, you could write stack's algorithm as, if every array is the same shape and axis is less than or equal to the dimensionality of the arrays, then for each array, insert a new axis where specified, and then concatenate the arrays along the new axis otherwise throw an error. Depending on how you set the axis parameter, stack can combine 1D arrays vertically or horizontally. So let's see what happens if we stack foo and bar with axis equals zero. Remember the algorithm, foo and bar each get a new axis zero, promoting them from two by arrays to one by two arrays, and then they're stacked along that new axis, so row-wise resulting in a new 2x2 two two array. If we stack them along axis 1, they go from 2x arrays to 2x1 arrays, and then get stacked column-wise into a new 2x2 two two array. If we try to stack foo and bar with axis equals 2, we'll get an out-of-bounds error. Remember, the new axis must be in the range of the array's existing dimensionality. You can also use the axis equals negative 1 shortcut to make the new axis the last axis. For foo and bar, it'd be like using axis equals 1. 